here. This is urgent, so I'll cut to the chase. Arlen's disappeared. Yes, I can't find him. He's not answering his messages or calls. In all the time since I took him in, this has never happened. Of course, I didn't see him. Parts of the surveillance system were destroyed when the Legion invaded. It still hasn't been fully repaired. Maybe he took advantage of a blind spot. It's been 13 hours since he last contacted me. It usually takes less than 13 seconds to reply to my messages. I looked everywhere and couldn't find him, so I checked the security department's work plan records. This is what I found. Look at his last work objectives entry. Of the heart, of the mirror, of the self. It's so strange. I knew it. You think so too, right? I asked people in the security department, but none of them thought it was concerning. They said stuff like, Brother Arlen is a grown man with his own plans. I couldn't get them to listen at all, so I'm asking you for help. Uh, oh, I have a secret weapon. <laughs> Say hello to... Peppy. Mm-hmm. Peppy's my dog. Arlen's looked after him since he was a puppy. They're great friends. Peppy knows Arlen's scent. Uh, maybe he can track him down. Yes! Uh, think about it! If people see me, the acting lead researcher searching for Arlen... Wouldn't that... Mm, you know, wouldn't that make Arlen look incompetent as head of the security department? Oh, let's go together! <laughs> Relax, Peppy doesn't bite. all his fans. Need I say more? Behold, the winner of the most awesome researcher contest. Huh, it's better if I don't show my face. See if you can get some intel out of him. I must confess that I, too, was terrified. Petrified, even. But there remained a light in my heart. A light that led me onward. That light... was the happy smiles on all your faces. Ah, Master Capote thinks, thinks about, about me. me! Oh, it's you! Long time no see. Are you okay? You look troubled. That's a uh, quite a wrinkled brow. Come, join the others and listen to me recount the tale of the Legion's invasion. I'm sure your memory of the events will dispel your worries. The Antimatter Legion barely missed me, and that's when I saw your faces. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be standing here today. Ah, long live Master Capote! Oh? Still troubled? You must be ill. You look pale and your pupils are gray. That's fine. I, Capote, never waver in my support. I shall double my efforts to heal your heart. 
The Antimatter Legion barely missed me. And that's when I saw your faces. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be standing here today. Ah, long live Master Capote! Aha! I see you no longer look troubled. There is only one word to describe your expression. Enlightenment. Such is the power of my rhetoric. It creates an energy that uplifts the soul. Arlen? Uh, yes. I, I, I know him. Yeah, after all, my calling is to light up the heart of every person on the space station. <laughs> As to his current location, and... Forgive me, but I cannot tell. Insert dramatic pause and sudden drama here. Everyone knows the most important word in my life is principle. Huh? Without principle, what difference would there be between a person and a mechanical arm? Wait a minute. Last time he said the most important word in his life was illumination. We need to update Master Capote's life wiki! This will be version 12.0 of his life keywords. <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, I do not lie. I, I can tell you that I did indeed meet Arlen recently, and I know where he went. Regrettably, I already swore on my life that I, Capote, would never tell anyone Captain Arlen's secret. Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. Captain Arlen had a similar expression to yours when he found me. He was anxious and desired an answer. But answers are not easy to give. Besides, he wanted to master a trial of the heart that would thoroughly change him, and that would be even more difficult. You can't even imagine the difficulty of the trial. I was tired merely from the act of imitating that way of talking with him. Thankfully, he... Uh, <clears throat> no more. No more. His words match Arlen's work plan records. Seems like he does have key information. I... I, I didn't say that. Uh, did, did you mishear it? <laughs> um, uh, what, what, what I said was, uh, life is a trial, and you need to be true to yourself. So, I know nothing about anything you said about Captain Arlen. <clears throat> um, I need to head to a meeting now. Uh, can we talk later? I can't let him get away like this. If he doesn't want to tell me, then... <laughs> don't, don't joke about that. Uh, promotions have a strict assessment process. I did hear that the space station gives special benefits to morally upstanding researchers, but <laughs> those are just rumors. Even the oldest staff have never witnessed it. Stop looking down on Master Capote! He's not the kind of person you think he is! Master Capote's Life Wiki, version 4.0. <clears throat> Master Capote doesn't care about rank. Everyone knows that! Even if you promoted Master Capote to acting lead researcher, he wouldn't tell you about the trial. Yeah, in, indeed. Yeah, I, I won't forsake my precious morality for something so base. How could you think up something so terrible? You're not just lost, my friend. You've completely strayed from the narrow path. I need to give you a thorough education on human ethics. We'll need to sit down and go over it slowly. No need to bother Master Capote. We'll fix this injustice for you ourselves. Wow, the cringe is strong. Yeah, I need to remember what I came here for. Uh, 
they went through everything with you? <laughs> I'm sure you reflected deeply on your actions. Well, I'll pretend I never heard the things you said. Think before you act in the future, please. Of course, if you haven't reflected enough, we can always talk more in private. Right now, I need to hurry to a meeting. I can't let him get away like this. If he doesn't want to tell me, then... Dare to utter such a threat? Listen here. Leaving aside the fact that you don't have the right to dismiss me, I wouldn't yield even if lead researcher Asta... No! If Madame Herta herself commanded me. Why not threaten to kill me while you're at it? I've said it once and I'll say it again. I will not yield. <sighs> Master Capote is so courageous. We're so lucky to be his fans. He said the exact same thing when he promised Captain Arlen. Yes, the part about not yielding. It's making me tear up. <laughs> I'm gonna print out the transcript of the conversation as soon as I get back today. The fan club needs to recite and memorize it. Transcript? They recorded Arlen's conversation with Capote. I didn't think a clue like that would suddenly pop up. This is the one who mentioned the transcript just now. Hey, you've been talking Master Capote's ear off this whole time. Do you want to join the fan club? Ha! I bet you do! You wouldn't have known about Captain Arlen's meeting with Master Capote unless you had an interest. You even memorized the internal testing content for version 12.0 of Master Capote's Life Wiki! You must be one of those super fans that stayed under the radar. Oh, we've been careless. We're on the same side after all. Here, this is our latest welcome bundle for new members of the fan club. And they'll toss in an updated version of Master Capote's Life Wiki. Oh, he looks really cool in the new limited edition snapshots. Capote to help you with a trial. Yeah, I guess that's our starting point. This handwriting looks familiar. Huh, is it Arlen's? Huh, against the scorching sun, a beautiful flower will never endure. Within my fair embrace, my love for you is tender and pure. Yuck, so slimy. It does sound like Capote. It looks like a candid shot, but surely he knew it was being taken. It's autographed. There's a figure that's not quite in the shot. Oh, is that... Arlen? So Arlen did go to see Professor Capote. This is the evidence. Ugh, even the space station handbook doesn't get updated this frequently. Huh. Is this an audio transcript? So, the trial of the heart means knowing how to deal with an overbearing boss. So that's how Arlen sees me. I need to talk to him. Let's hurry up and find him. Peppy, 
it's your turn again. Security department staff. There are still remnants of the antimatter legion in the space station. Let's go help them. <laughs> Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Guard. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward. is yet to come. What are you doing here? <laughs> then be careful. There's still Legion remnants in the area. Arlan isn't here right now, so we need to step up the space station security. Spare no effort and stay focused. Yes, yes Brother, Brother Don, Don Hong. Hong. Yes, he's with March. But I suggest you don't bother him. He's given himself a personal trial. Ugh. Brother Arlen's special trial? He's a man among men, a lion among tigers. He's already reached great heights, but ha, still he wants to improve. That trial, I bet it's even more intense than physical training. And Brother Arlen already challenges himself to the limit in that department. He runs 21,358 meters around the space station every day. An eagle among wolves. Always so hard on himself. I think it must have something to do with the mind. He probably found a waterfall and asked Ms. March to lower the temperature to freezing point. <laughs> no way. Brother Arlen's trial wouldn't be as simple as just standing under a waterfall. I think he wants to learn fighting skills from Miss March. They're not correct, but not wrong either. Arlan came to me to learn how to manage pressure from his boss. So I sent him to March. If he can manage her, then he has nothing to fear. That might be a metaphor too far. Brother Arlen runs like a horse and fights like a bear. I think that's a great metaphor. Arlan and I decided to switch our assignments. He went with March to investigate a suspicious crystal, and I have taken up his patrol. That's all? He gave me a pass for access across the space station while on patrol. <laughs> 